In this video, we will handle events for the map and display user some pop-ups the next step. This is a simple visualization I created as a demo for master video about creating a developer environment and uh, attach points. Let's go to the API document. The first thing we're gonna draw is the event. You click the map. You can see there are lots of methods attached to the map object you can use. And there are lots of events. So let me delete the code related to the CDP visualization. Let me delete this code. But I do need the map, so Keep the map and other things. Okay, so how to attach elements to the map? You can attach the elements by using the on method. And the first parameter is the name of the element. So we can attach uh, element to the mouse move. Attach the handle to the mouse move. And the parameter of this handle is uh, map mouse event. What is mouse event? We can check it out here, and here is the description. So I'm gonna print out using the console uh, lock. The parameter is move, and I can print out the uh, geo position of this of the point that we are hovering. Now let me refresh the page. Mouse. Hmm, here is the position that we are hovering. We can also attach any other elements such as click. So let me just change it to click and uh, so message here. And so if I click, here is the geolocation of the point that I clicked. For any other elements, you can just like those two elements, you can check out the description and check the parameters and do whatever you want. So that's the events part. What about the pop-up? But before I start, I want to attach some points to the map. I refresh the page. Now we have three points. The thing I want to do is, for each point I clicked, there will be a pop-up. And the point I created is using the same tool as the as last video. Uh, I also want to display the text on the point, so let me just uh, create some new text. So for this one, let's say, uh whatever <laughs> whatever and uh, maybe first one just the uh, same oh okay now let me create a display of pop up on the map you can go to the pop-up section. And uh, we can create a new pop-up by, by using the pop-up method on the members geo object.
After we get the instance, we should set the position by using the set longitude latitude method. And I want to set it to the same position as at some points, and that's choose and that's choose one. And uh, I should also wait a second. Okay. I should also set the uh, HTML content of this pop pop up. And just the same. Fresh page. Uh, I should also invoke in the last method. I should add it to map. Now you see there is a pop up. I found myself don't like this button, so yes, there is an option that I can remove this button by specify the close button to false. So the options let me say house button first. Now the button should be gone. Now let's think about how to create the pop-up based on the point I click. The first thing is how to get this point or uh, or let the application know that there is a point. Uh, there actually there is a method called on the map, and it call ran, um, query rendered filters. So it will return. You can return anything based on the position that you specified, and return the objects inside that or in section with that uh, geometry. So let me just uh, use this method. And uh, save the result in map query rendered features. And uh, the first parameter is uh, geometry. I'm just using the points field in the events. Second parameter is an option. As I mentioned in the last video, actually there are lots of layers on the map. So I only want to get the layers um, for the points. So I should restrict the layers to points. And if there is anything on the in the result, by the way, the result is an array. I should uh, display the pop up. If I click this one, okay. But if I click this one, it's still displayed here because the longitude and latitude is hard coded. So I should specify it to the hmm, position I clicked, clicked, so I should be match something. So if I click this one, this one, this one. The so next thing is display the content based on the text property. We can get it by ah, 
Let me show you the result first. So for each result, it will have the properties bundled to this object. So you can access these properties and uh, display it in your pop-up. So content equals to result, first result, and you can access the properties text. And I just uh, replace this not false with the content. So if I refresh the page, so now that's it. I hope this video is helpful to you, and I will try my best to create a better one next week. Thank you.